today we're going to be drawing these amazingly awesome and easy daffodils. Do you know when you give someone daffodils, it means that you're giving them happiness? Daffodils are so cheerful and bright and lovely. There are over 200 different types of daffodils. The Romans believed that daffodils had amazing healing powers. Daffodils are often associated with being happy and cheerful. Daffodils remind me of gardening and planting and flowers. In today's video, my good friend Marvelous Miriam is going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make these easy to draw daffodils. And I hope by the end of this daffodil project that you feel happy and cheerful and joyful. Have fun everyone and I will see you at the end of the video. Thanks Joey. As you may have heard, my name is Marvelous Miriam and today I'll be showing you how to complete this beautiful daffodil drawing. For today's project, you're going to need some paper, a pencil and an eraser, a sharpie, ruler and some ditto markers. If you don't have any ditto markers at home, we've got you covered. Head over to 25cats.com and find them all there. To get started, we want to sketch out our daffodil drawing with a pencil so we can erase any happy accidents. I'm going to freehand a nice square on the center of my page. That's where you will draw your daffodils. If you want, you can use a ruler as well. Next, you can begin to draw three circles where you want your daffodils to be placed. It's totally okay if the circles go outside of the square. Inside one of the circles, begin to draw a blob. Then draw two lines on either side of it, just like this. Close the shape off by connecting it here. This will be the center of our daffodil. Start to create the petal shapes around the middle part of the daffodil. We want to make about five to six petals. Some will be shorter and some will be longer. You can even make the petals come out of the circle that we traced out. On the inside of the blob shape, you can sketch out three smaller circles. Continue this step with two of the other circles that we drew for the daffodils. Once done, we can carefully erase the circles that we lightly drew. Let's draw the stems. Form two lines side by side coming down from each of the flowers. If you need to adjust any petals, you can do so now. Some of the stems will have the stems branching off. Let's add lots of blades of grass going around the flowers towards the bottom of our drawing. Great, now we are going to outline our whole drawing with Sharpie. If you see any pencils still on the drawing, you can erase it once you are fully done outlining with Sharpie. Now we're on to the markers. These will be the ditto markers I will be using to color in my drawing. These are my favorite markers to draw with because they have a thin tip and a bigger tip. I will be using a lighter yellow to start with and gradually adding darker yellows over top. With the lightest yellow, we can completely color in the daffodils with the thick part of the marker just like this. With the slightly darker yellow, we can begin to layer our colors. I'll add the shade of yellow to the inside edge of our petals, moving it slightly closer to the edges. Now, with another darker shade of yellow, apply it over top of the yellow that we just added. 
You can use feathered strokes with your marker. Fill in the middle of the daffodils darker. Lastly, we can use our light pink marker. When we apply this over top of our yellows, it will begin to blend the colors together and it will start to make the flowers appear more orange. Time to color our stems and grass. I'll be using three different shades of green. You can start with the lightest green and fill in all of the stems with this color. After that, you can move on to a darker green. Begin to layer over top. I'm doing this step with feathery strokes with my marker. You don't want to completely cover the light green. With my turquoise marker, I'm going to start to color the top of the stems closest to the flower. Then adding some additional highlights to the left and right side of the stems. For the last step, we can grab a light blue and fill around the stem and flowers to create a beautiful blue sky. And you're done! Thanks so much for creating with me and I'll see you back in the next video. Back to you, Joey! Congratulations, you made it to the end. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. If you'd like to show me your daffodils, just send me an email to hello at forecats.com or tag me on Instagram at forecats studio. Thanks everyone, and I will see you next time for another drawing tutorial. Bye.